Hi guys, it's Bob from Hedis World. Today we're going to be doing another video upgrade on the camper. This is going to pertain mostly to my rig probably because I got a three-wheel uh, Can-Am Spider motorcycle and trying to get it to stay in the garage unit since we have a garage unit, not a full um, toy hauler. Trying to strap it down, it kind of moved around on us on our route to Texas. So I researched a little bit and found these trays from Harbor Freight which I'm going to use to hold the front tires in place and I am going to modify them a little bit to work with a three-wheel design so stay tuned we're Bob and Barb we've lived by the rules all of our lives but in 2020 we threw that rule book out the window we sold our home and moved full-time into an RV with our cat Amelia and from now on we will be living life our way don't you want to come travel in our world? This is the box uh, that comes from Harbor Freight. Um, this is the actual platform down here. It's designed for a uh, two-wheel vehicle. I'm going to use two of these inside of our garage unit since it's kind of a unique setup. Bike fits in there fairly uh, snugly, so I don't have much wiggle room for the bike to move side to side so it doesn't damage the unit. But this setup here is basically made to, as, the, as your um, bike rolls in, through here this this will this will uh, cantilever back this will catch your front tire and this will catch the back of the front tire on the bike but i am going to modify this unit so it will fit in our garage unit and i won't use that cantilever on the back i'm only going to use the front as a stopper and i'm going to mount this to the floor and then use these tie downs here i'm going to bolt them to the uh to the rails here and I'm going to do some drilling and uh, it has little uh, axle bars that go through. I am not going to use those. I am going to bolt these snug and I'll show you the, the process as I go through it. This is what I've come up with for my modifications. These originally had these little axles here that would go down here and these would tilt back and forth for a single tire. And then you would have one back here in the back. This would catch your, as you run your your front tire up in here, this would swing around and you could lock your back tire in with these bars. But since I got two tires in the front, these actually interfere with my fenders, so I can't use them. What I am going to do is run my tire up on, that, up on the front there and then where I got these tie downs here, I'm going to run some uh, ratchet straps around and strap both tires in place and that will keep the bike from moving on me and I will show you on the bike on the ground and then I will show you once I got it mounted in the um, garage itself all right I'm going to show you on the outside of the garage before I bolt this in place this is what the how it's going to hold the, the tire and then I'll have a second one on this side over here I'll take a ratchet strap and run it through these hooks that came with them run around the tire and ratchet back over to this pivot point here that will hold the that's going to hold the tire up at snug against here that's going to keep my front end i'm going to bolt this this frame is going to be bolted so that's going to make it uh, very secure and in the back end i'll just use the factory uh tie downs they put riverstone added to this unit and tie the back tire from uh, shifting back and forth and that should alleviate my issues of the bike dancing around inside the garage all right this is what it looks going to look like once they're bolted in place as you can see it's got got factory tie downs but they really don't help too much on a three-wheeler it's hard to get in here because it's, it's a, such a tight space the bike is 105 inches long the length of this garage is only 110 inches so i only got five inches to deal with this allows the nose of the bike to come up to this ford uh, truck parking only sign uh, a couple inches off of that and then in the back it allows my rear tire to be about uh, three inches off the back door and what happened is the door collided with the uh, fender or on the uh, trunk on the way down here to texas and it put some scratches on the back of the bike which i've fixed in another video but um, this is this one bolted in place i'm bolting down actually going down through the the factory frame on this front side the back side is going through uh, the half inch plywood i'm putting large fender washers on the back side and i'm using half inch um, castle bolts so these are uh, not going to go anywhere and i'll show you once i get it all back in here and parked in as you can see underneath the uh, camper on the garage side these little bolts here are what riverstone uses for their tie downs 
I use these half inch anchors. This one's actually going into the, into the frame uh, versus these little guys here. And then I did back here in the back, I did uh, two more half inch um, bolts, block washers and big fender washers. So I don't believe it's gonna go anywhere. All right, this is the perspective when you're on the bike, going up the ramp, just showing you how tight it is um, going up inside here. I gotta kind of watch this front tire here, make sure we're good. This is what I'm looking for. Tire up against that side. And tire against that side. Then I'll use those ratchet straps to go around the rim tire and hold this bike in place. And then what I do on the back here is I, I use the factory tie downs, go around this uh, back tire, loop it, come back over to this tie down and that keeps it from uh, shifting side to side and that those front braces will keep me from uh, moving from left to right up front and going forward that's it guys so uh, like I said this is probably a, a one-off unless you happen to have a garage unit and a, a Can-Am Spider probably it would work for a motorcycle too if you were going to use this for a motorcycle I guess you could even uh, tie down your front tires of a golf cart uh, they seem pretty pretty uh, sturdy so if you uh, like this video please subscribe to our channel please give us a thumbs up hit the notification bell you'll be notified when we release our next video once again this is bob with head of swirled come travel in our world